Hello po mga kababayan. Hello teman-teman. Selamat malam. Xin chào các bạn. Welcome to NIA Global News. I'm your English news reporter Amy. High school students teach foreigners Chinese. Second generation new immigrant students film Southeast Asia culture videos. Indonesia government gets tough on phase 2 vaccination. Vietnam is snowing on mountains. Tainan City Police Department joins new immigrant activities. High school students teach foreigners Chinese. New Taipei Municipal Qingshui High School held an activity called How to Teach Foreigners Speak English on February 7th. Taiwanese students teach foreign students Chinese by using English. Both sides are able to communicate with different languages. Besides of using English when teaching, students also use different kinds of body language and word cards when teaching. Many Taiwan students become friends with the foreigners. Foreign students also wrote cards in Chinese to thank the Taiwanese students after class, saying they are happy to join this activity. Director of Education Zhang Mingwen encourages Taiwanese students to participate more in similar activities. Second generation new immigrant students film Southeast Asia culture videos. New Taipei City government has been promoting new immigration next generation projects since 2020. Sanzhi Elementary School cooperated with National Taiwan University of Science and Technology and organized a course named Little Internet Celebrity Creative Course. The second generation new immigrant students learn to use technology and also learn the culture of their parents' home country. In the course, the Vietnamese students introduces their special cuisine, event and traditional custom as themes in their videos. The volunteer teachers share the same hometown language and culture with the students, making the students feeling more connected with them. Indonesia government gets tough on phase 2 vaccination. Starting from February 17, during the second phase of COVID-19 vaccination, nearly 400 million people will be taking the shot. People who are qualified to take the shot include public service providers, people over 60, and safely related practitioners, etc. If people refuse to take the shot, they will face penalties including fines, the withdrawal of social aid and the loss of access to administrative and public services. In addition, the Jakarta provincial government also says that those who refuse to take the vaccine will be fined 5 million rupiah, about 10,000 NTD. The Indonesian government reminds people that even though they have taken the shot, they still have to keep their masks on, wash their hands and keep a social distance. Snow falls on mountains in Vietnam. Many Vietnamese have been drawn to the northern highlands such as Sapa, as thick white snow blankets the region. The temperature in the northern part of Vietnam will drop sharply every winter, especially in some provinces in the mountain areas such as Sapa. In the early morning of January 10th and 11th, the first snow of 2021 fell on Sapa mountain areas for two days. The scenery of Sapa has become more charming as snow covers the mountain and forest. There are often white fog or cloud scenery because Sapa is located at an altitude of about 1,600 meters. The temperature of the Sapa will drop to zero degrees in winter. According to the climate statistics of Sapa, the snow will remain from mid-December to the end of January next year. Tainan City Police Department joins new immigrant activities. This year, due to the global pandemic, new immigrants were unable to travel back home and celebrate Chinese New Year with their family and friends. The officers promoted official policies to make sure the new immigrants won't miss any information. And to make it easier for the new immigrants to understand the information, the officers handed out multi-language leaflets. The new immigrants also appreciate the police officers' gesture of goodwill.